So I wanted to integrate my Kenmore dryer into Home Assistant, which I thought shouldn't be too hard because it's only a year old and it does have a smart app. Unfortunately, when I try to pair the dryer with the smart app, the app crashes. And even if I could pair it, uh, right now it's not a integration or anything with Home Assistant. So even if it's paired with the app, I don't think that can integrate with Home Assistant. Um, I wish I could have an LG dryer like my washer because that app works great. And actually that's what I'm using to let us know the washer is complete. But with the dryer, my first attempt was a vibration sensor, which works okay, but in there it seems to lose signal sometimes. So we would then get multiple alerts that the dryer was complete when it wasn't. Then the second attempt up there is a temperature sensor, which that kind of had the same issues in that it doesn't always report back. And even if it does, it's kind of hard to make an automation that goes off temp because even after the dryer completes, it still takes some time for the temp to lower enough to be sure that it's not on. So this next thing is a Shelly EM, which looks like this here pretty much, except I only got one clamp. I don't have two because I don't need to. Um, so it's, it's a little hard to see, but I have it mounted right there. And then the actual clamp is wrapped around the black wire coming off of the washer, not the incoming. So you can't see it. Um, I'll probably cut the video here and post a couple pics. So anyway, I have it hooked up. And now Shelly easily integrates in the Home Assistant. So I can see everything there. And if you just watch, right now we're just concerned about meter power zero. So you'll see when I turn the power on, hops up to about 4.5 watts. So I use Node Red for all my automation. So I just wrote a simple one that pretty much, let me get to it. Got a lot of pages here. Laundry room. So we're concerned about this one here. So right now I just have it saying if the watts is over 50, that's what triggers it on. And it then waits until they're less than 50. And then right now it's just sending a text-to-speech message over our Alexa. So to kind of show you how it works, we'll... Mm -hmm. Close that, and then we'll hit start. And you see that now, hopped up to 247, 251, so it's on. You can see that same thing here, 251.4. And of course then, after it is completed running, I'll hit pause here. Now I may have to kind of figure out how to work around what if we put clothes in there and then two minutes later we realize we got to put more in because if we hit pause right now that will trigger it. So I'll probably put in some other timed node that says, you know, it has to be running for at least 15 minutes and even then you can still get some false 
positives, but really aside from an actual, you know, smart app that will actually say it's complete and not paused, I think this is going to be our best option right now. So if you have any questions about it, let me know and I'll do the best I can to answer them.